Hi, it's Ross from SDS. Welcome back to the channel and video number 98. This week we'll be discussing the age-old question of torque and horsepower, which is best? And I'll be using the usual real-world examples to uh, try to illustrate the difference and help you understand uh, the difference and relationship between torque and horsepower. So we'll start this off with a bit of a history lesson. Where did this term horsepower come from? Well, it started back in the late 1700s as the uh, steam engine was starting to replace horses in some applications. And they needed a way to compare uh, how powerful a steam engine was, how many horses it could replace. So a fellow by the name of James Watt in 1782 decided to quantify that. He did some testing with uh, horses to see how much work they could perform by uh, lifting weights. And he came up with this, this uh, average horse could lift 550 pounds, one foot in one second. So that was one horsepower. So James Watt was involved in increasing the efficiency of steam engines, which he did so successfully. And uh, as he did so, industry became more interested in replacing horses with steam engines, possibly. And uh, in order to find out how many horses they could replace for a certain job with uh, a certain steam engine, the steam engine putting out rotary motion, he just modified the math a little bit here. So we originally had uh, 550 pounds lifted one foot in one second. And rotary terms, uh, horsepower equals torque times RPM divided by 5252. Okay, we're in the hangar today and I'm just going to do a couple practical demonstrations on torque and horsepower on the bench here. So to illustrate torque, I've got a torque wrench and I'm applying a twisting force to a nut in the vise. You'll see here there's no movement of the nut, so therefore no horsepower. In the next clip, I've got the torque wrench on an engine and I'm actually turning the engine at about uh, 50 pound-feet of torque. So let's say I turn this engine over at uh, one revolution per second, which would be 60 revolutions per minute, how much horsepower would that be? Well, torque is 50, RPM is 60, 50 times 60 is 3,000, 3,000 divided by 5252 is 0 0.57 horsepower. So humans can develop uh, between about one and two horsepower for very short periods of time. So uh, yes, this is possible. You couldn't do it for very long, you get pretty tired uh, turning it that fast with that much force on it. So clearly humans are no match for horses or steam engines. So we'll start with a few points here. Horsepower is the rate of work. Torque is force over a distance. Horsepower is usually calculated from measuring torque at specific RPM points on a dynamometer. And again, horsepower equals torque times RPM divided by 5252 and area under the horsepower curve determines the amount of work an engine can do per unit time. Torque doesn't take into account rate, RPM, which horsepower does, and that's a very important distinction. Many people are comparing torque to horsepower. They don't really understand what the difference is. One isn't better than the other. There's just a relationship between torque and horsepower. So now we're looking at a horsepower and torque chart for a BMW M54 3 liter engine. And uh, first thing you'll notice here is that uh, horsepower and torque on this chart cross at 5252. And you'll notice the uh, torque output of this engine is uh, fairly constant from about 3500 to roughly about 6000. It doesn't drop off too much and horsepower rises, uh, peaking at about uh, 5,900 on this engine. So you remember in a previous slide where I said the amount of work an engine can do is related to the area under the horsepower curve. So that would be from here to here, all this area here. The bigger this is, the more work an engine can do. So if we turbocharge this engine and the horsepower curve was like this, then all this area would be able to do work and the engine would be very flexible. You could use it at uh, quite a wide range of RPMs and it would uh, make the car accelerate very quickly. So the relationship between torque and horsepower should be fairly obvious here. The more torque you can make at a given RPM, the more horsepower you have. 
Since torque is the twisting force at the tire and the road, that is the force that makes the car accelerate. So some people say you should uh, be shifting at torque peak rather than power peak, and that will result in the quickest acceleration. Let's have a look at that on this chart here. At uh, torque peak, 3500 RPM, we'll go down to the horsepower here. And we're making about 142 horsepower at 3500 RPM. We're at 5900 RPM, we're making 225 horsepower. So clearly the car is not going to accelerate as fast using 142 horsepower as it will with 225. And we're going to uh, illustrate this fact with a real BMW running some acceleration tests. As luck would have it, we happen to have a BMW equipped with an M54 3 liter engine. And we'll do some acceleration tests with that here. So this first test will be a rolling start in second gear at 2000 RPM. As soon as we hit the 10 second mark, we're flooring it. And we'll be shifting at 3500. It's a drive-by wire throttle that hangs up a little bit. And we'll note reaching 120k here. It's about at the 25 second mark. So that took 15 seconds shifting at 3500 RPM. Now the same test shifting at uh, 6000 RPM. Second gear again, 2000 at the 10 second mark, we'll floor it. And it's right about at 20 seconds, so that's uh, 10 seconds. So shifting at power peak is definitely a lot quicker than shifting at torque peak. So what have we learned here today? Well, obviously BMWs are faster than horses. Torque is important. It's a motive force. And as we saw in the dyno charts, the more torque you make, the more horsepower you make. But horsepower is how we quantify work. That's why horsepower is used on uh, most engines. Aircraft engines in particular are always rated by horsepower, not torque, because torque doesn't really tell you very much about how much work the engine can do. And just to illustrate this fact, a uh, PT6 turbine engine only puts out about 70 pound-feet of torque. So that sounds pretty unimpressive. But uh, horsepower-wise, it's maybe 750 to 850 shaft horsepower. And that's because the uh, power turbine is turning at about 30,000 RPM, roughly. And that gives you an awful lot of horsepower, that uh, mere 70 pound-feet at 30,000 RPM. So this 200-plus-year-old concept is just as valid today as it was back in 1782. We're still using this to compare how much uh, work one engine can do versus another engine. That's it for this one. Hopefully you found it informative. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.